and somehow it actually predates the well-known Homo erectus fossils found in Manisi, Georgia, which, by the way, are around 1.8 million years old. See, this is quite the big deal, because up until now, the Manisi fossils were considered the earliest evidence of hominins outside of Africa. But with the discovery of Ubedia, this timeline had been shifted in a very fascinating way. This discovery's significance is not just because of its age, but also because of the size of the individual it belonged to. Let me explain. Analyses of the vertebrae reveal that even as a child, this individual would have been as tall as an adult Homo erectus from Nanisi, with the potential to grow much larger as an adult. After hearing this, your first thought must be that scientists have discovered giants. But this size difference actually suggests something quite different. It points to the presence of two distinct types of early humans outside of Africa during this period. This finding indicates that different hominin groups were exploring new regions simultaneously, rather than as part of a single unified migration. But the fossil wasn't the only thing fighting the out of Africa theory, because support for the idea of multiple migrations also came from comparing the tool technologies found at the two sites. In Manisi, the stone tools followed the expected older one tradition, which are simple flakes chipped off stones. But shockingly, the tools found in Ubedia are from the early Akulian tradition, which are essentially more advanced tools, like hand axes made from volcanic rock, 